Hey there guys, welcome back to the photo video show where we explore all things photography. I'm your host Mark Puckett and on today's show we're doing another hot deals episode where I help you guys out with some deals that I happen to find and if you all happen to find anything really cool that you think would help out either me or your fellow photographers, drop those down in the comments section below. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. All right, so the first deal that I've got for you guys today is the Anchor second generation Astro E5. Now, I happened to buy the first generation uh, Astro E5 about a year and a half ago or so. Still going strong, by the way. It was only 15,000 milliamp hours. This one happens to be a small bump up in portable power at 16,000 milliamp hours. I love these things. Uh, first of all, if you're on a smaller system, like a Sony system, you know that you got to take a lot of batteries and stuff around with you. But if you happen to be on the go a lot in places where power is always going to be an issue, I do a lot of hiking, a lot of backpacking, stuff like that. And when I need some extra power, this is what I bring with me on almost every single trip that I go on. So not only can it charge your camera battery, but it can also charge your phone. And it has a smart IQ, I think it's called Power IQ technology that's built into this thing. And essentially what it does is it knows exactly the amperage that needs uh, to be output on that particular device and charges it at its optimal speed, which in my opinion is extremely handy. So for the meager price of only $36.99, I think I paid well over uh, $60 for mine brand new uh, when they first came out last year. But now you can get even more power for even less money. The next item up on the list is this Lowepro Rezo 120 AW camera bag. I happen to have the uh, Low Pro 170 AW camera bag. I've had this thing for probably about three or four years now. Since I moved over to Sony and my cameras and the lenses have gotten so much smaller and so much lighter, I can fit so much stuff in the 170. Uh, now obviously the 120 is going to be a bit smaller. If all you have or all you're planning to take out with you for the day is say like one or two small camera bodies, maybe a medium sized zoom, one flash. Um, you should be good to go. Uh, as a matter of fact, the flap on these low pro rezo bags um, have organization for SD cards. You can take uh, a charging cable with you if that happens to be something that you actually take out in the field. Um, you can also keep some filters in there perhaps, uh, a lens cleaning cloth, maybe a sensor cleaning kit, uh, something like that. But honestly, I've been using this bag roughly for three years and I'll always take it out to the woods with me. That ends up being uh, the bag that I take with me almost 95% of the time when I'm going out uh, to either do some hiking trips or do whatever out in the woods. Dude, this thing goes with me everywhere I go. So it has been almost bomb proof, not to mention that it has a built-in weather cover that you pull out of the bottom. It wraps around the whole thing, sort of like a backpack cover and totally protects it from moisture, rain, dew, stuff like that. And I use it constantly. Last but not least, I've got the Cowboy Studio 43 inch uh, five in one reflector. Now I bought one of these exact same models probably four years ago. And I've used the hell out of this thing. Um, not only do you get the silver and the gold reflectors, but you also get uh, a black side, a solid white side. And then if you take the slip cover off of the unit all the way, you get a big diffuser. And I use the diffuser in studio all the time. I shoot my LEDs through them and I'll also put it in front of my flashes. It works amazing. Another thing that I'll do with it is if I'm going to be doing some uh, outside shooting, I will usually have an assistant hold this up above the subject's head to diffuse the light, make it a little bit softer. That way I don't always have to be stuck underneath a tree. And for the meager price of only $15.09, it really is hard to go wrong. Uh, but even as throwaway as that price is, mine is still going strong. I, there, I've not got a rip. I've not got a tear. Uh, the zipper on the slip cover is still going strong. I've not had it fail on me and I can still twist it and put it in its storage bag and tuck it away. It still works perfect. And I paid a lot more money for it four years ago. So for the meager price of $15.09, I think it's kind of a no brainer. 
So there you have it. There you go, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. All the links to the products will be down in the description uh, box below. And if you guys have any suggestions or any cool stuff that you've been able to find in other places, hook me up. Let me know. Share those links in the comments down below. Help your fellow photographers out. And I'll see you guys again on the next one. Peace.